What's going on guys and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna take a look at the new monitor from Porky, the LH5P, which seems to be quite a cool monitor. So let's unbox this thing and see what it can do. To be honest, this monitor has something really nice and I'm really glad it had. So maybe you see this on the box. The box is pretty messed up because of the transport. So I was really lucky that this monitor has a case. You actually store the monitor to prevent it against scratching or other things like that. So this is one of the things that I wish all my monitor had. And because it has a case, you can put it in your bag without having to worry that it might scratch or anything like that. So this is a big bonus. And this is why I'm telling you I was really happy to have the case because the case is already a little bit broken. I don't know if you can see. And this is because of the transport. So <laughs> now let's see what's in the box. Bam. So this monitor looks pretty cool to be honest and the build materials are really nice. You also have here a small antenna that goes here and it looks like this. I think it's pretty cool and like I said the build materials are pretty nice on this monitor. This is not plastic guys. This not plastic. So this monitor is built like a tank, so this is really nice, especially when you think about cinema gear or gear that is built to last. So it works with MP batteries, which is a big bonus because MP batteries are everywhere and are really cheap. So before telling you more about this monitor, because it has some pretty cool features, I'm gonna show you what else is in the box. So we have a cable that it's made to control your camera and yes this monitor has the ability to control your camera but depends on the camera for example i have a zcam e2f6 and i can control all my settings on the zcam e2f6 with this monitor i can also control my sony cameras and i can also control different cameras like the black magic pocket 4k 6k and 6k pro and the beauty with those cameras is that you don't need a cable to control them. So you can control them via Wi-Fi and that's this antenna for. So more we have here a cable and this cable is made for powering your monitor from an external source, not the battery itself. We have a different control cable I suggest and this one is for cameras that have USB-C as a control cable. We have an USB that it's made to update your monitor or to uh, import LUTs. And we have a different antenna here and this is it. Now let's put it on the camera and see what else it can do. Okay, so I brought my camera and this is it. The Zcam E2 F6. Let's mount this. And to be honest, I'm really curious to see how this monitor handles filming in harsh daylight because it has 1700 nits which is 700 nits more than my daily monitor so i'm really curious to see if i notice a difference or not another great feature that this monitor has is hdmi in and hdmi out which is very beneficial whenever you film with a transmitter so now we're going to plug in the cable we're going to have the image on the monitor and we already can see exactly how bright this screen is because right in the back we have a window and we have a little bit of reflection on it and we can still see the image pretty good. So now let's see exactly what this monitor can do. So you have a few pre-programmed buttons right here that go into different kind of settings. For example, focus peaking, which is pretty good. We have false color and uh, we have I think an RGB waveform. So all those are really beneficial whenever you are filming and you want to see them really quick. If we press on the screen we have the ability to import a lot and I already imported one which you can find in my shop. <laughs> so whenever I film with this camera I have a lot that it's always on my monitor and I use it to be able to judge exposure properly and most LUTs that I tried don't work as good as this one so 
I've made it now available on my shop and this is the lot that works the best on all monitors. It's the perfect lot to judge exposure the best. So make sure to go and find out in my shop. So let's see exactly what other option this monitor has. So you have um, different kind of flip options. For example, if you film yourself and you wanna flip the image, you can flip it upside down or flip it whatever you want. You also have here another uh, anamorphic menu where you can change your anamorphic settings 133, 142, 150, 166, 185, 2x and 235. So you have a lot of anamorphic options and this is where it gets even better. You have the option to customize your anamorphic squeeze, which is something that I have never seen in any monitor I have tested. So this is a very interesting feature to see on this monitor and I think it's really made for people that love to shoot anamorphic. So pretty cool. Uh, we also have some sound options that not so interesting and if we do like so this monitor has a pretty interesting ui so whenever i flip like this with the finger it goes into different menus and to get back inside the menu that i want you kind of have to get used to it so okay now we're back inside the um, monitor part where i'm not in the camera or focus menu so right here we have different functions for example, the lot in part function, the focus speaking, um, the false color and all that. And we have the possibility to add more function to the monitor. For example, guides, crosshair, under scan, zooming and all that. So it is very nice to have the ability to have all those different features available. So you have two columns where you can add. And as you see right now, I added kind of way too much. Uh, uh, the same effect so let's see how I can uh, remove one of these maybe oh my god no okay delete 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 okay so now probably if I press let's say audio meters it will put an audio meter effect there so it's very similar with the small HD monitor um, so for example, if you ever use small HD monitor, they have kind of the similar design overlay of the effect. So now let's go into the camera menu where things get interesting. So let me put the look back on. So this monitor has so many features, you kind of get lost into them. So if I slide like, if I press and slide like this, no, if I press and slide up and down, I should go into the camera menu. And if you saw something different here, this is the focus menu where if you have a tilt and close M or N, you can actually connect this monitor to the unit and control everything that the focus unit can. So you can pull focus only with the monitor. So this is pretty cool. Now let's get back to the camera. So right here with the camera, I can pretty much make any settings I want. I'm gonna go to, for example, Iris. And if I press this, it should change my iris and it actually does. So I can see here on the screen that it changes my iris. Let's go to shutter. Yes, it changes the shutter and that is pretty cool. I can go to ISO, put it on 400. This is really nice. I can go to resolution and if I press this, things will be kind of weird. So it doesn't show me exactly what it does, but it changes resolution, which is pretty good. If you get used to it, you can work really fast with this function. The same goes to FPS. For example, now we are on 25. If I press like this, it will go into 29 most probably. So, but it's kind of a long process because I think the camera also boots, but you still have the option to modify it and probably the same goes to the other functions as well. White balance, pretty simple, not so sophisticated, but here's the interesting part. If I press here, I can go into the menu of the camera and I can modify the settings the way I'm modifying right now by pressing all the buttons. So for example, 
I have all the customizable buttons right here. I have, for example, if I go into record, I can press OK. I can change the resolution here. So this is pretty cool. So enough about this. Let's go outside and test out this monitor properly and see exactly if I can see something in the harsh sunlight since this monitor has 1,700 nits. It is probably the sunniest day of the year by far. And I think it's the perfect time to test out and see exactly how good you can watch your image on this monitor being so sunny. And you all know that filming in sunny bright daylight can be a really struggle whenever you have a monitor that doesn't have enough nits. And with this one, apparently I'm looking at it and even though the sun hits the monitor directly because the sun is that way, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I can judge the exposure really, really good. Let me take the camera, put it in front of the monitor and show you what I mean. I don't know guys how good you can see on the camera, but with my eyes, I can judge the exposure very, very good. So I'm really impressed on how bright the screen is, especially on this super bright sunny day. So I'm trying to show you on different angles how viewable this monitor is, but it's, I don't know if I can show you with the camera that, but with my real eyes, I'm really impressed. And this monitor is very viewable in bright sunny days like this. So this is very impressive. Usually with monitors on a sunny days like this, it's almost impossible to judge exposure. You need to put something over your head or something like that. But with this one, very easy to judge exposure. So well done, Portkey. To be honest, guys, I am really impressed with this product. I'm also really curious to test it out on a Blackmagic camera or Sony camera to see how good the camera control function works. But we're gonna have to leave that for another video because this video has been already too long. If you love this video and if you want me to make more videos like this or review other products, make sure to leave me some comments in the description and I'm gonna try my best to review or test out the product you request me to do. And if you love this video, make sure to subscribe, leave me some comments and also follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of content there too. So until next time, make sure to have some fun, create some epic content and be safe. Cheers.